Hey, Sen. Hi, Denta. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. I know. Oh, come on. Good to <laughs> see you. Good you. Good to see Morten. you. Good to see yeah. you too. How are you? I'm good. So we are at Imperial Homes. Good, yeah. And I know that Imperial Homes have been in existence for about 15 years. Exactly so. Okay, so tell me about where we are and why this place is so beautiful. Okay, well, a lot of thought went into the location Rangoon. Okay. Management had the idea of coming with what we call the Black Edition. Wow. So Rangoon was part of the concept thinking of identifying a strategic location, okay. which is cantonment. So we formed the decision to select this development for one of our high pitch clientele. Okay. So do you base your properties on individuals? Does it have to be high net worth? Is it what type of people are you going after? Go after the high end because we are luxurious. Okay. Uh, we, we, all our things are very unique. Okay. Because Wangu is in the uh, heart of Cantonment. Okay. Yes, on the Justito Avenue Street. And Wangu has nine uh, townhouses and also uh, apartments. Okay. Yes. So we basically do it very unique for high end people. Okay. Seth, can you tell me more about Imperial Homes? Who's behind it? Is it Ghanaian owned? Strangely enough, people think uh, Imperial Homes is owned by an expatriate somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a strictly Ghanaian owned development yep. uh, business. It's owned by one Ghanaian called Francis Baini, mm -hmm. uh, who's been in the business for over 30 years. Yeah. So he came with the idea of setting up Imperial Homes to mainly look at the top notch high-end uh, luxury apartments. Okay. Uh, he's been in the system for long. We've done a lot of development within the prime areas in Accra. I think Cantonment, Airport, Rage, Kanda, and, and I think Lagoon. one East of Legon. these... East Legon. East Legon, Legon. Yes, Burn exactly. yes. We've been wow. more detailed in getting some locations where we deemed it fit depending on the proximity to some of these strategic locations in Ghana the airport, the mall, okay. the international schools and what have you. This, this is one is, of our top-notch development is called Rangoon. This is beautiful. What I like about Imperial Homes is the finishing, Good. the decor. Are you using Ghanaians to do the decor, the interior yes. design? Yes. Are you using Ghanaian architects? Uh, we use Axinos in the uh, designing. Okay. We, can, we call it a bespoke sort of. Okay. So after that, the interior is done by BYT. Most of these developments come with the concept of off-plan. Right. Where we engage the prospective right. buyer okay. from the beginning, end-to-end -end value chain. Right. So we take more input with respect to even some of the materials to use. So are you saying that when you are doing the design, you have the client already, and then you go through the process of Maybe, can I have this in the house? Do you do that? Okay, normally what we do is we come with what we call the standard okay. specification. Okay. As I said, with the off-plan sales. Right. So the drawing is already done. Right. Made with a viewpoint of some of the finishing materials we're going to use. Then we involve the contribution of the client to say, okay, based on the functionality of the design, I prefer A, B, C, D. We rope all these contributions in they will come with this complete product and then we roll it on. Okay. Because I can see sometimes you have like maybe three or so living rooms, but they're different. Maybe one yeah. is more for exactly. yeah. meetings, one Good. could be for family. Good. Can you go through? Yes. So based on the uh, client's perspective. Right. So maybe you prefer having this living area this way or the other way around. Right. Yes. So you can prefer to have you can see this is a huge living area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a dining, dining area. Yeah. But other clients prefer to have double living area. Okay. And can move the dining somewhere up here. So uh, it's kind of clientele base and okay. uh, yeah, yeah, your yeah, inputs. Okay. That's what we do. For and it, are your properties always fully furnished? Because every apartment that I've been to and Imperial Homes is always fully furnished with everything inside. You don't have to buy a fridge, you no, don't have to buy a, a microwave. You're just, just walking. Walk it's wow. a tanky, you, just, you come tanky, in, you just walk, walk in. And then you have everything wow. in place for yeah. you. 
So you have the guest washroom. A guest washroom, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the guest washroom. Okay. This is nice. Yes. I love the mirror. Sure. You have the extractor. Okay. Uh, you have the window. Okay. So then on your left, mm -hmm. you enter into the kitchen. Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's. And it's a very massive kitchen. Yeah. yeah. And it has a TV. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. You know, you need not to rush to the living area right. to watch something. So you just have your space and okay. enjoy yourself. This is a kitchen integrated. It okay. has an island with yeah. a hub okay. and a structure. Okay. It's beautiful. Inbuilt. Yeah. Is this for a single person or is this for like a family person who has kids maybe who are over the age of 15? Okay. For Rangoon. Mm. The target market was for self-used. Okay. For those high elite mm. clients who want the feel of the proximity to town okay. and still have the ambience and space. Mm. So this is for a family size to have that sort okay. of feel. Okay. Maybe having a self-compound somewhere in Dansuman, the city outskirts and all what have you. Rangoon was meant to have the feel of the self-compound within the city. Before we go upstairs, what okay. I love about Imperial Homes is some of the artworks that you guys yeah. have in your properties. It's very unique. Are they all from yeah, Ghana? We or you this to... locally. Wow. Yeah, yeah we, we, you know, we, we would even prefer 100% local content, but, you know, sometimes based on the level, of, yeah. so we have to import Blame. some of them. So okay. we blend both the local and then the foreign. Okay. But with the artwork, mm. we source everything here. Okay. Yeah. One of the big things for diasporans who are buying properties in Ghana is security. Yeah. It's a big factor for them. And so I want to know from you, in terms of Imperial Homes, how is your security like? Okay. Uh, if you take in even its holistic viewpoint, Rangoon, for instance, is just proximity to the headquarters, the police headquarters. Okay. Okay. Right opposite is, is one of the top-notch Ghanaian officials, mm. government officials, right. with the Chief Justice. Okay. We have 24-hour security service in here. Okay. We also source the services of the police. Okay. Sometimes, you know, it's difficult getting that, but we outsource the security services right. and then we incorporate the police in here. Okay. So everything, it's based on protocol. So if I'm coming in t to meet somebody, what is the process? Do I have to call the person? Can I just arrive? Do they call the security call the person? Like, how does the security? We, we, we're flexible. Okay. We're flexible. These are, you know, home for the elites, yeah. I should say. Yeah. So, depending on the arrangement with whoever is coming to visit, mm. for us, the person must give notice to the security. Okay. To inform the security, I'm expecting A, B, C. Okay. And then the security will definitely also be going to call you okay. when the person, the person is in okay. to verify and confirm whether you should make the person in. And sometimes we even suggest that the person must walk and meet the, the visitor. And okay. then when the visitor is leaving, at least you need to come out and see the visitor. Okay. All these things is being monitored. Okay. We have our CCTV camera. Have the cameras. Yeah. 24 yeah. hours. 24 yeah. hours. So Love that. So, okay. Yeah. So should we go upstairs? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. You see up there, mm -hmm. these are some of them, oh, you know? Oh, the yeah. lights! Yes! This is what we call uh, Martin, uh, moonlight. the moonlight. The moonlight! Exactly, yeah. That's pretty. There's a whole nother floor, wow. Yeah. It's grand. Very grand, very spacious. I will tell you Imperial's home's unique selling points is the space. Yes. You won't get properties in Ghana that will allow you to have space. Tell us about that. That is our competitive edge. Mm. In Puya, we are magnanimous to space. Right. We make sure we give much room yeah. to some of these. Fine functionality, people have issues here and there. We yeah. have more inputs and then whatever. But we make sure that we give a lifestyle for a family. Mm. So mm. We, we, we make sure that the space is more given. Right. And so this is where all the bedroom, most of the bedrooms are? Yes. Okay. We have so four bedrooms up here. Four bedrooms up here. Yeah. So it's a total of five. Five bedrooms five plus bedrooms one plus uh, boys, boys' cottage. Boys' cottage. Oh, it's got a walk-in. Yeah, there's a walk-in. Walk Again, en suite. 
Exactly. That's Duravit. This, uh, we call the Durasta. The types of toilets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's called a Durasta. Oh, wow. It's called a Durasta. That's the furniture. Okay. It comes with the furniture. And then Fantastic. Functionality, you see some development. You see the bed right beneath the air condition. Yeah. yeah. And all these things. Some of these things that we talk yeah. about. So yeah. we make sure we plan and position yeah. some of these things. And then, so some people want standing AC. Some people want just these exactly. ACs. Yes. Depending so this on sort what of they a, want. Yeah. So, so it doesn't even come with the standing, but the client will prefer, prefer standing. It's important we, you, we address this. Okay. Uh, in terms of the sustainability and conservation of energy. Yes. So some of these equipments, appliances that we use, right. we make sure that the conservation is more okay. uh, sustainable. Oh, that's so fantastic. that the client can manage it's some of else. these utilities. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So and then I see a lot of greens in Ragu. Yes. So you've got a lot of trees, a lot of greens. What, what was behind that? Oh, it's part of the design right. concept. Okay. But definitely, as I said, you need to have a blend of the green and then the hard and all okay. that. So all right. it's part of the design. But we want to let people understand that when it comes to the conservation of right. some of these things, we also... Right. Can we go through the process of purchasing a property off plan? You know, how much deposit do you have to put down? What is the process? How long does your building take for you to build once you've put your deposit if you've paid off plan? Okay. Uh, you know, we do 90% we do off plan sales. Yeah. We're flexible when it comes to the arrangement with respect to acquisition of these properties. Right. Though we have a standard template which normally comes with 20%, 40, 40. Okay. But then with the initial 20%, we give that flexibility to the client okay. to decide per his cash flows, okay. how he's going to pay. It's Based different. on that, we tailor made it and then reflect in the sales okay. and purchase agreement. Okay. Now, uh, the payment plan sometimes too is aligned with the construction period duration. We normally do maximum four years Okay. Minimum three years. Okay. We don't want the situation we give the client that expectation we're going to finish in 24 months and then later it on happen. it's just back and forth. Sure. When are you going to hand over and all that? So we give that payment flexibility and then we give constant quarterly Update. reports. Okay. Updates on the project the progress. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so if the person is living outside, you send pictures, send you send videos. Reports okay. Monthly, quarterly, yes. okay. and yearly. Okay. Yes. Okay. So at least you know what is happening in your property. You see, we, because these are off-plan sales, we want the client to be part of, of, of the mm. process. Mm. So, so it's not like you, you'll be there and out of the blues, we'll call you and tell you we are we're done. done. No. no. If you have challenges, we'll let you know logistics issues here and there, maybe shipment of some of these finishing mm. materials. We engage you and let you appreciate the fact that Development is ongoing, but okay. these are some of the challenges that we're going through. Okay. So based on that. Yeah. Do you do mortgages? Can people get a mortgage on the property? We do mortgages, especially with the completed units. Okay. But there's also some arrangements where you can come with the off-plan mortgages. Okay. Where we can even show that commitment to say that we're giving you a promo, some wave of your mortgage payment interest. Okay. In the next three years of the construction period. Because definitely you're not enjoying the, the property, the property and you start to service right. your mortgage. Right. So we'll give you that waiver, that moratorium respect to, and then we'll be servicing the, okay. the financial house okay. and the payments and then yeah. Are these areas, the airport, the cantonment, the Laboni, good places for investment? You know, some people in the diaspora, they might not be ready to move, right? But they want to buy and rent it out. Are these locations the best for that? Okay, I, I, I would even say these prime areas are deemed the security demarcated zones. Okay. Where even when these expatriates and Ghanaians living abroad come in, your embassies will tell you some locations yes. that you need to live in. Right. Cantonment, airport, Laboni, Roman Ridge fall into this. Okay. Now, if you're getting these properties as an investment development, uh, we can run the numbers, but your payback period 
is within five to six years. You can, your investments mm -hmm. that is made, you can be guaranteed of uh, monthly rent within the range of 2000 to $3,500. Okay, per depending month. On okay. Per month, depending on whether it's a one bed, a studio, okay. a three okay. bed, four bed, or a villa. Okay. So the investment is there. And also, you need to appreciate the fact that when you buy these properties off plan, over the construction period, the completion, and you value these properties, you're going to have some value appreciation. Right. You can realize some capital gain out of it. There is also a group of investors who just buy off plan. And, and, then, and, then, and then, sell then sell. And then sell. When it's completed. Yeah, when it's completed. Right. Some right. to based on maybe investing. Now bonds and treasury bills are sort of yep. uh, mm -hmm. junk, excuse me yeah. to say. So they like to diversify By their the investments and come into real estate. Okay. It's a good investment. It's a good investment. It's a lifetime. When you're not there, your kids can also, also enjoy, enjoy it. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to the master bedroom. But when you buy the property, are there any service charges? What, what, is, what, is, yes. what happens when you actually buy the property? Uh, we, we have two costs with respect to the acquisition. First one is what we call the sinking fund. Okay. A percentage of your sales value is set aside. When we set up what we call the homeowners association, okay. we put that account, that funds into sort of a call account. And then the, when the association is set up, they take over the management of the fund. Okay. These funds are mainly used to take cater for insurance when there is some major defect issues after right. our one year defect liability period. Okay. Some of this money is useful. Now, after the development and we hand over, we outsource the services to a facility management company. Mm -hmm. But we spell out the cost of the service fees in the sales and purchase agreement so that you understand and know what you're going into. Because right. some people will say, I didn't know my blind side, your service charge is so expensive and all that. So you also need to pay what we call the service charge. Okay. This funds is used to cater for the common areas, the lights within the common areas, and then security. Okay. So then what about cleaners and maintenance? It's yeah. part of, it's it's part of it as well. Provide. But for maintenance, that's where the sinking fund right. comes okay. in. Okay. So that fund is used to cater for. Right. Those, yes. right. So we're in the master bedroom and I can see this Martin. person obviously wants like a little living room, have somewhere to relax and watch some TV. Exactly. And then there's also a little balcony. Yeah. So this, fine. sometimes we give rooms to interior decor okay. to come up with the, the concept design. Okay. So for this one, for instance, they came up with this design and with the input of the buyer, because this is not the size of the TV, but you know some clients want yeah. to have the film, yeah. so they, they yeah. opted for this. So and I love this light as well. Exactly, the, yeah. is the chandelier is there. Yeah. So there's a walk-in closet there. Yes. Um, and, and that's the bathroom I'm taking. Yes. It. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm. This is this is nice. And, and trust me, the windows are very strong. Okay. These are shuko. These are shuko. Okay. So if you lock it, it's it's, it's safe. very secure. Because yes. you can't, you don't see any burglar proof here. Yeah, yeah that's there. true. So that oh, you feel yeah. you're in prison, sort of. No, yeah. we don't do that. Okay. For all our development doesn't come There's with no, 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 not at no. all. So we make sure we give you the apt security services, mm -hmm. and then make sure we give you the quality, so that it wouldn't be easy to break in. So, yeah. This is great. What type of people are buying imperial homes? For Ghanaians, yeah. Mm. Home and abroad. Okay. Professionals, businessmen. Do you think it's more diasporans or it's more Ghanaians that are based here or is it a mixture? It's a mixture. When it comes to uh, the investment properties, uh -huh. more of the people from the diaspora okay. do invest. So there's another they bedroom there. Yes. Okay, so this person wanted a swimming pool, a big yes. one. This no, grand. all the property has swimming pool. Every single one Every of single property. Wow. Some of your properties usually have a gym as well. Yes. But this one doesn't. Yeah, no. this one doesn't. Okay. But we have the apartment end. Okay. The apartment okay. end has a communal gym okay. and a communal pool as well. Okay. But when it comes to the pool, this, uh, the standalones have their own pools. Okay. So, for example, 
a client may prefer for us to do a pergola. Okay, yeah. Are you getting yeah. me? Yeah. That is not part of the standard. Some may prefer grains. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. So these are your inputs that you can... You can make. Normally with the off plan. Yeah. By the completed ones. You can't do... But we normally even do more or less 99% off plan. Off plan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then when, once, you, once you buy the property, you come for a viewing, then can you make some tweaks here and there? Definitely. Okay. We're flexible. Okay. Flexible on your payment plan, flexible on the product delivery. Okay. So to end it, what would you say is the vision for Imperial Homes for the next, I don't know, five to um, ten years? For Imperial Homes, we want to be the top most uh, luxury real estate in Africa. In Africa. Okay. Uh, we seeking to do development not only in Ghana but other That's African right. neighboring countries. We are currently planning, which is at the conception stage, right. to do uh, a community, a golf resort. Yes, which will be the first, the, the first, first of its kind in Ghana, in, in West Africa. Sub I would say Sub-Saharan Africa, from East Africa up. Okay. Up, exclusive uh, uh, South, Africa. South Africa. Wow. That is incredible. Yes, that is a family lifestyle. So is it just going to be golf course with big houses? Is there going to be, I don't know, schools? Are you building a whole community? Uh, it's coming with uh, a okay. golf lodge. Okay. A sports campus. Oh, wow. So the sports campus with the sense that when nations are even going to play tournaments. Okay, they could use they, the... They could, they could just, Nigeria national team can just fly over to Ghana okay. and lodge in the sports campus. There is a gym, there's a physio, everything, everything, everything inclusive. There. That's fantastic. Yes. And it's not going to, obviously it's not going to be in airports. It's going to be in uh, Apidra. Okay. 45 minutes drive from okay. the airport. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. So yes. That's these brilliant. are some of the things that we're trying to uh, roll out. It's, it's amazing. Okay. And for me, guys, if you don't know, I actually live in an Imperial Homes property. And when I tell you the properties are top notch, spacious. And I, that's why I spoke about spacious. I mean, I have four kids. You guys know I have four kids. And so having space for me is so, so important. And the finishing, the interior designing, the architecture is magnificent. And so if you are ready to buy, I would say buy an Imperial home. Thank you for watching.